Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, I will explain you how to use Call Seek using BBA. So as you are seeing my screen, here I have taken one example of sales. So if you will look at this table, then here we have total number of win 25, lose 75 and we have this total 100 attempts for the sales wherein we get the success in 25. So our sales percentage will be 25% because out of 100 we got 25 win. But our sales target is 50%. Now here we want to get how many minimum sales required to match this target which is 50% wherein we are taking winning percentage assumptions as 100%. Winning percent assumption means now whatever sales we will pitch we will get the 100% winning percent how many more sales required to match this target so i have given here one button get minimum sales if you will click here it will give you the 50 sales if we will pitch 50 more sales wherein we are taking the bidding percentage assumption as 100 percent means we will get the 100 percent bin out of these 50 then our new bin number will be 75 because earlier it was 25 now it will be 75 Lose will be 75 again because we are getting the 100% winning. So there will not be any lose. So it will be again 75. Now total will be changed which will be 150. And out of 150 we are getting 75 win. That means our new sales percentage will be 50%. So friends we are achieving this using the goal C. If you will put here some other number, let's say I'm putting save in 5, 6 and I have lose 9, 8, 9 number. That means my sales percentage is 43%. I can change my target. My target is 60%, right? I'm assuming now whatever sale I will pitch, I will get the 80% winning percentage. How many minimum sales should I pitch and out of those sales I will get the bin 80% then my sales target should match as 60%. If I will click here get minimum sales then it will give you that number. That means I need to pitch 1450 sales out of those I will get 80% win of these sales my new win number will be this lose number will be this and the total will be this and now actual sales will be 60% which is my target. Alright so we are achieving this using the goal C. Now I'll show you how to manually create this example first so let me go to the C and here I'm going to copy this data and I will paste this data here let's say. Let me remove the grid lines from the worksheet go to the view and check the grid lines. So this is the simple input. The yellow highlighted cell is the input which manually need to be entered. This is the binning number. You can put your binning number. You can put your lose number. Then this is the total. We have taken sum here. The sales percentage is basically the bin number divided by the total sales. That is the sales percentage of actual, right? This is the target sales percentage. Here, let's say I'm taking 25. Here I'm taking, let's say 75. Then total is... 100 and 25 is the sales percentage or the bin percentage. Put minimum, minimum sales required. You can merge this cell. If you want to make the font size bigger. Here, let's say I'm taking font name agency FB. Make it slightly big. Let me copy this and I will paste this here. Here I'm taking binning percentage assumption which is I'm taking let's say 90% then here I'll show you what formula you need to put for the total we can put simply sum of these two let's say here I'm putting the number as 100 just for the time being I will take this value plus 90% of this value that means this value and I will multiply it by this value alright so we will get the new number similarly for lose we will take this value the actual lose plus the 10 percent of this value this multiply and how we can get the 10 percent 100 percent minus this value and just close the bracket all right so we will get the lose value 
it is coming 58 percent so we have to achieve the 60 percent here right so if we will put here manually then we will put let's say 110 then it is coming 59 percent this one let's say we put 120 it is coming 60 percent now all right i'll tell you how can you use the goal seek manually you can delete this value select this cell wherein you want to put the goal seek because this is our target we want to make this number as 60 percent whatever is the sales target right so we'll go to the data then we will go to the what if analysis available in data tool and here i will select goal seek in the goal seek the first option is set cells which is k10 this value right we want to set this this cell and now we want the value here 60 percent which is our target sales target and by changing which value i want to change this value right just click on ok you can see the number is getting changed you can click on ok so it is giving you the number the exact minimum number you can remove the decimal place so 170 sales minimum sales is required to match this target all right so that is how you can use the goal seek if you want to use the goal seek using bba you can write the simple code so let me go to the developer tab then click on visual basic here this is the macro which i have created let me insert another module here i'll create the macro from the starting so i'm using new goal seek because goal seek macro i have already created First of all, I'm taking a variable for the worksheet dim sh as worksheet and set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and we are taking seat 1 because we are on seat 1. Now we will put our code this cell which is k10 right and by changing value of f8 and our target is on d3. So we can use ss.range k10 dot goal seek and if you will press space then you will get the syntax of goal seek. So our goal is goal or the target is equal to whatever available on range e3 dot value and changing cell will be colon equal to and you can take ss.range f7. All right, so let me see yes this is f8 sorry so you take here f8 you can change the number format also for f8 ss dot range f8 dot number format equal to we can put zero here zero number format now i'll create a button so i can go to the developer tab and i can insert a button or i can insert a shape also let's say i'm going to the insert and then go to the shapes and then i will insert a shape let's say i'm taking this rectangle here you can take any color let's say i'm taking this color edit text get right click and go to the assign macro go to the this workbook and here you can see this new goal seek macro we just have created click on ok now i will delete this value and i will click on this button it is giving me the value but it is incorrect value so let me see where is the error target is d3 so we just have to check all the reference so target we have taken e3 which is wrong we should take it d3 f8 yeah now it is correct if i will click again then it will give you the red it will give you that value you can change the value here let's say 555 and here you can take and let's say i'm taking target uh, it is coming 41 percent i'm taking target as 50 percent i'm assuming i will get the winning percentage as 75 percent and just click on get sense so it will give you the minimum sales all right friends so that is how you can use the goal c it is very useful please practice this I hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching